2012-2013 women's basketball team capped off a run of three outstanding years in a row for the program. After going a combined 46 and 11 the previous two seasons, women's basketball put together one of the best campaigns in program history in 2012-2013. The Pioneers won a program record 11 straight games to start the season and moved up to number five in the D3Hoops.com Women's Basketball Top 25 poll which was their highest ranking in program history. Women's basketball matched the program record for conference victories with 14, en route to winning the program's first outright Northwest Conference regular season title since 1993-94. They earned an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament and hosted an NCAA tournament regional for the first time in program history. The Pioneers defeated Trinity of Texas 78-49 to reach the NCAA second round for the second time in program history. At the end of the season, head coach Julie Folks was named the Region 8 Coach of the Year and senior Christina Williams was tabbed the Northwest Conference Player of the Year and a D3Hoops.com All-American First Team honoree. Fellow senior guard Sarah Villanueva and junior Taylor Wang were also named to the Northwest Conference All-Conference team. The Pioneers wrapped up the season tied for the second most wins in program history with a 25 and four record. Uh, I drew the honors going first. Um, and by far the, the first team thing I wanna say is I'm really honored and grateful to be here. You know, I was a member of the team. Um, there were a lot of people that did a lot of great things. And so on some level I'm representing on behalf of a lot of people and I'm so with that, I would like all the hooting and hollerers to stand up right now. So what I want to do is I want to tell you, this is the 2012-2013 team. You heard a bunch of the stats, um, the reason they're getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to share a backstory with you, to give it some context. And so in reality, the backstory for this team and this Hall of Fame team starts in the 2011-2012 season. So you got to sort of picture this. So in 2011-2012, we had a pretty good season. Okay? Um, we were defined by half-court execution relatively slow game and we just picked people apart with great skills. We're good. <laughs> and we ran a play called Oregon. Right? <laughs> uh, the other thing that you might know from that season is uh, we couldn't get over the hump against George Fox. And so like it or not, I need to bring up George Fox in the <laughs> They were they were the measuring stick. They are no longer, but they were the measuring stick. So it's important to know that we could not get over the hump that year against them. The other thing that's important to note is we were going to graduate, and we did graduate, a number of significant seniors. So, what you might not know is that led to a lot of uncertainty. And so I remember the story being on the ladder of Bellish. Um, so he was, you know, the head trainer back in the day, and trainers liked to talk. And there was a trainer that had a conversation with me uh, and said, man, you know, they lost a ton. I have no idea how they're going to stay relevant. Uh, and PD's response, as I recall, was, they'll figure something out. And so we took a look, long, hard look at the existing talent that was coming back and at the new talent that was coming in, and we decided we were going to completely recreate our identity. Complete overhaul. Complete overhaul. We were going to go from a half court execution to an up pace, tempo team, run, run, run. I remember having a conversation with Junior about it. She was excited. I was like, man. Most people here, we're going to play fast, and they have no idea what it really means to play fast. Uh, but that's what we did. Uh, these guys embraced it, they worked at it, they obviously got good at it. And when I was reflecting recently with Coach Falls, um, who apologizes that she couldn't be here tonight, but uh, you know, the thing that really happened was, and this is where I'm going to come back to George Fox, this is what George Fox. Yeah. <laughs> We swept George Fox, you heard all of the rest of the information, but it really was a confirmation of and a statement that the program was here and it was relevant. Uh, so with that, I'm going to hand it over to 2012-2013 team member, Darren Dean. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. 
George Fox three times. Three times. Um, I'm just going to share just some fun memories that we had over the season that in our group chat we just collectively thought of. Um, and obviously we're good, that's why we're here. Uh, but there's a lot of memories that maybe you guys don't know about. Um, one, Izzy, as a freshman, she thought Coach Tal's name was Coach Towel. <laughs> into one dorm, and uh, luckily we have Reese. Reese got us all addicted to playing Call of Duty. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so on defense, communication is vital. Very vital. Um, at one point we were on defense, it was extremely chaotic. Very, very chaotic. A lot of switches happening. Nobody knew what was going on. Um, so Cat Howe, who was in the game, took liberty to scream, free for all. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We got lots more. 